Hello, I'm Bob Ross. From the distinct sound of a brush being beaten to that unforgettable afro, there is no forgetting Robert Norman Ross. A man who didn't believe in mistakes. We have happy accidents. Within a half hour time slot, Mr. Ross could forge a wonderful work of art. Born on the 29th of October in 1942 in Daytona Beach, Florida, his parents had separated when he was at a young age. In the early years of his life, Bob Ross worked as a carpenter with his father, which had led to severing his left index finger. Thankfully, that would be the hand that he would use to hold the pallet. When he reached the age of 18, young Bob joined the United States Air Force being stationed outside of Fairbanks, Alaska. The landscape of Alaska had inspired Bob and had him in love. He began his art career with lessons in selling them in the local area. One class he had taken was taught by a one Bill Alexander, his soon-to-be mentor, then sworn enemy. When starting his own painting career, after leaving the Air Force after 20 years and retiring as a Master Sergeant, he permed his hair to save money on haircuts. This way to save a dollar gave him an iconic look that ended up keeping, even though he hated it once he had the money for a decent haircut. Over his iconic career on public television, he had painted close to 30,000 if not more paintings. Despite this surprising statistic, he never sold a single one. Instead, his revenue came from his own brand of painting supplies and instructional media. With 31 seasons, 403 episodes within a 9 year period, it's quite an impressive feat. Although the paintings he had made on the show were later donated to public broadcasting stations. Even though Bob Ross passed away over 20 years ago, he is still loved by many to this day. A well-known pop culture icon teaching us the joy of painting. The legacy left behind was not only a quick way to paint, even more than a company in his own name. What he left behind was that you don't have to be blessed by Michelangelo or go to school for half your own life to paint. When he was on camera, it was like he was giving a private painting lesson. Many people still invite him to their homes to this day. Bob Ross will never be forgotten, from the sound of the brush beating to his infamous afro that will never be another Bob Ross. He was a joyful painter who simply loved to paint happy little trees.